What's up Yakuza fans, and welcome back to the Ishin Beginner's Guide. So today I'm going to be talking about farming in the Another Life mode. So starting in Chapter 4, after you meet up with Haruka, you'll unlock the Another Life. It turns out Haruka has been left with a bunch of debt and needs your help paying it back. Uh, the only thing she has to her name is her family's farm and it's up to you to plant the crops, cook and sell them. To access Another Life, talk to the boatman at the southernmost end of Hashimi, near where the Tarada Inn is located. Uh, right around here. As you complete sub-stories, you'll start getting pets gathering at the house. Interacting with them can increase their friendship and from time to time they'll show up with gifts. And with these you can, uh, it's like manure stuff like that, you can use it to help better tend the garden. Okay, so I'm going to go through each system one by one, just to kind of break it down and let you guys know what you need to do here. So starting off with farming. Farming is pretty straightforward, just walk up to the tool shed next to the field and activate it. You'll see a grid with all of your current crops and the cooldown timer until it's time to harvest. Press circle on the top option to change out your crops and grow something new by pressing circle on the area of the grid you want to plant and then selecting it from the list. The second option allows you to harvest any completed plants in one go instead of going out and actually physically pulling them up yourself which is a huge time saver. And the third one allows you to add a bucket of fertilizer to speed up the crop growing time. The final option trashes your crop layout completely, so if you want to start from scratch you can go ahead. Uh, you'll constantly need to be managing your space until you can unlock a bigger field later by purchasing it in the Dharma Exchange, which you should as soon as possible for maximum output. Simply head over to the red box near the gate and buy the upgrades at the top of the list on the third tab. Cooking can be accessed inside the house at the stove area on the right. Pick one of the highlighted recipes from the list and you'll enter the cooking minigame. There's four things that'll happen depending on the recipe. Cutting, follow the on-screen prompts with the right timing. Pouring, hold circle until the bar reaches the middle of the pink line. Heating, mash on the circle as fast as you can, or grilling, where you'll need to flip the food at the perfect time. Basically when flames kind of start to come out the side. Not the little ones, a little bit bigger. Uh, each meal you cook can give you a status effect like eating in a restaurant, so these are good to have on the go. Uh, selling can be accessed inside your house with the cabinet at the back of the room. You'll get orders ranging from easy things you've grown like pumpkins and yams to outrageous things like bullets and plates. Simply choose the orders you wish to fill and assign the correct items and then send Haruka off to do the dirty work. Completing all the orders on the list allows you to do the same orders over again so you'll get more and more cash the more you sell. You can grab the PlayStation Vita app on the Japanese store to farm on the go and sync your progress between each version. Every 20 Ryo you earn through selling your crops lets you pay off a portion of Haruka's debt. You can visit the shrine in Fushimi and talk to the guy standing there to pay it back in 5 easy payments. As you farm, cook and sell your crops, the friendship gauge with Haruka will go up, allowing you to unlock special relaxation scenes, like this one. And that's it for this edition of the Ishin Beginner's Guide. As usual, if you found this helpful, please like and subscribe, and I will catch you guys next time. Bye!